Welcome back, I'm GamerMage0, and last time we started setting up our alternative recipe, so reinforced iron plates. Now, this only saves us um, only two iron plates, but it saves us like it uses the exact same amount of screws. So, that saves us, what is it, 48 screws? So, that's a lot of screws that that's saving us on. So, we have the iron plates coming in. And we set this up so the iron plates are coming over. And I did this because if I'm going to set up, let's say, a second set of uh, assemblers on the other side, then I can put another thing of screws on the other side here. So this time we want to get some screws going. Now, I believe I already have one set of screws coming over here somewhere. If not, it probably comes in above the iron plates anyways. But I'm thinking that we're actually going to want to bring the screws up from a different angle on this one. Because that's where we're going to run out of room. Alright, let's find out what we got going on over here. Okay, so we have the screws coming up this way. And we have a second set of screws going that way. Now let's go ahead and use those and actually I'm going to change my number four spot to this so that way I have the MK3 down there because the MK3 right now is a lot easier to build since I'm actually producing the beams and that's actually the one I want all right so we have all of those coming over here what we don't have is them coming into here yet so let's go ahead and get those coming around the corner this is a little bit awkward to do in the dark but luckily everything has kind of lights on it there we go it's really the top areas that become really difficult These are going to be weird too. Okay. Make sure I'm not falling. Alright, I think if I'm going to do any more, I'm going to have to go up. This is just getting a little too awkward. Now let's just use the stairs. So let me actually turn on... I keep forgetting there's a flashlight in this game. That might help out a little bit. Okay, so that's going up here. There we go. And there we go. Oops. I did not do what I wanted here. Alright, that was awkward. Let's go over here. Alright, now the biggest thing I need to be careful about is this right here because I don't want to build too tall for the next building.
looks like it's going to be day again here soon, thankfully. Foundations up above that. All right, that should be enough to at least give us. An idea. See, I don't remember what all of this is. So we have two rows of plates, two rows of bars, and then we have our screws. I feel like we're going to need most of this. So one, two, three, four, and five. So one, two, three, four, five. Well... Maybe we just got lucky and it's tall enough. Alright, now that's just going to be awkward for one other thing. these out a little bit more. This way, so one, two, I'll put the that part there. There we go. Now I can actually get that second row of screws going this way if I actually want to. That'll be awesome. power come into this thing. This so right there should work. Oops. 
Okay, there we go. Now I can jump it. I just gotta run. what's going to make this work here. Okay, this looks like it'll work. Alright, there we go. start building the mergers. Now, each one of these so are producing iron plates at 7.5 a minute. We have five of them. That's about 37 a minute. That's 37 and a half a minute. Alright, so that should actually give us enough supply for whatever MK2 belts we need. We have our MK3 belt supplies being down, built uh, below. See how are we doing with plates? So these needed 10, so we're using about 50 a minute. Oh, it's 25, right? So we're using 125 a minute. So we could do 250 a minute of these belts. It's an MK3, so it can handle 270. Alright, I think we can just go ahead and build another line of splitters. We should have everything ready to go. The only question is, is that enough space? I think we need a little bit more space. There we go. Now all I have to do is line it up with the other mergers, which luckily a line will go across for. Let's see. Now will this come down here? Right on the line, two. One, two, five. Awesome. Okay. 
Now I need to get some more assemblers over here. That's where I want it. There's too many lines though, so I couldn't tell. Yep, that's bad. That's much better, but let's make sure. Do we have too much room there? Seems like it's enough, but let's put this over here. Find out. No, nope, that's probably right about perfect. Okay. Let's get the rest of the assemblers in here. recipe There we go. Plates down the center, because we need the least amount of them. Arch up the belts on each side. Screws, because we need two lines of those. Go on either side. Now if we can up the amount of screws we can have coming on each belt, we could probably extend this out just a little bit. But for now, that should do. So, ah, there's the last thing we need to do. hook some power up. Building up to this point has been about where we were before. We had the modular frames, and then we just started doing industrial beams and motors and things, so I don't think we're too f far away. We have just a little bit more to go. Let's see, what am I looking for actually? I need the beams. So once we get all that set up, we'll be looking at what we need to do to start unlocking other things. We'll take a quick look. 
at our hub to see where we're at. So I believe that even though we're not quite caught up, I'm going to finish this episode saying that we've kind of finished the rebuild portion of this video. It's been like probably the longest part in the series because pretty much from after this point like we'll still be doing the same thing more or less but now we're building up but we're going to start looking to get to the next tiers again here or not next tiers I think we unlocked all the tiers but looking to unlock more of the wow it's just been too long let's go take a look at it We have a lot of things unlocked. We just need to get to the point where we can start actually unlocking these three. So the MK4, so we just need to get to the point where we can actually start manufacturing the computer. That's really where the difficult part is. So that's where we had the oil that we brought in before we started this rebuild series which is I think I left it right back there you can kind of barely see it in the distance I think my cursor is right on it now so you can kind of see the line coming around there and behind the hill so once we get that done uh, building up to the part where we can start bringing in the oil then we'll actually bring this over here and start producing the plastic and rubber and other things like that and that's what's going to be able to help us build that so that's going to wrap up this video this uh, round here we'll just go ahead and uh, finish out the conveyor belts on this one so thank you guys very much for watching again next time we'll continue on building the we'll do the modular frames and see if we can get to the uh, industrial beams the industrial beams I don't think will be too hard it's the modular frames that are going to be a little bit more difficult because really all we got to do for the industrial beams is add on concrete and that's just an easy one alright so make sure to hit like and subscribe and if you want to get notifications of future videos hit the bell thank you guys very much for watching I'll see you next time